Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm going to be coming at you guys with another paid request. Uh, this time, uh, once again, from none other than Wild Man Beyond, who wanted me to review Season 2 of Cobra Kai. He sent in the paid request for Season 1. Now he wanted me to talk about Season 2. Um, I had planned on watching Season 2 and 3 anyway, because I really enjoyed Season 1, and I wanted to see more of the show. Um, and then he just so happened to send in the paid request for me to review this. For anyone that would like to send in a paid request, my PayPal link is in the description box down below. It does not have to pertain to just reviews. It could be random discussions or video games or any kind of different stuff. It does not have to pertain to strictly movie and TV series reviews. But anyway, um, season two of Cobra Kai, I would say, is the best season and my favorite season so far. Uh, they really went up a lot of notches in this season. Uh, they kind of kicked it into the headspace, pun intended, and they pushed the show further in the second season, which I really enjoyed. Uh, season two definitely went up, you know, quite a few notches in my book uh, this time around, but I loved it. You know, I did love this season. You know, uh, season one was, you know, for the most part, it was very simplistic. And it just kind of elevated the story a little bit, you know, from the original movies. I mean, mostly the first film. But then in this season, you know, they kind of tackled some other areas, excuse me, um, from some of the later films. Because there was one, like, I totally forgot about this. But there was one uh, scene when Daniel's talking to his students. And he's like, well, I used to be Cobra Kai. And they're like, what? You know, and I'm like, when the hell was Daniel Cobra Kai? I'm like, oh, Karate Kid 3, duh. Um, so, yeah, they uh, they definitely started to dig a little bit deeper into the mythology and go into some of the sequels, which was nice. Um, but, yeah, you know, this season pushed the story a little bit further, which I enjoyed. Um, you know, the biggest thing about this is you have John Kreese come back, you know, at the end of the last episode of season one, you know, Kreese showed back up and, you know, that ended that season and then into this season and then into the next season, uh, Kreese becomes, you know, a bigger part of the show, which I liked, um, excuse me. I'm a fan of Martin Cope, not just from Karate Kid, but he was also in Rambo First Blood Part 2. He was on episodes of Walker, Texas Ranger, Renegade back in the day. Of course, he was on uh, Cagney and Lacey. Um, and he did like one movie where he was the hero. It was called Steel Justice. It's not that good of a movie in my personal opinion, but I do have it on Blu-ray. Um, but Martin Cove, they tried to make him an action star, and it didn't really work. But a uh, formidable actor, in my opinion. I've always enjoyed his work. And it was really nice to see him come back um, as pretty much the character that everybody remembers him the most for. I mean, I, I, at least in, in my opinion, when people think of John, oh my God, I almost said John Cove, mixing up the names now. Martin Cove, excuse me. When people think of Martin Cove, they think of John Kreese. Um, so it was nice to see him return to the character that everyone knows him for. And in this season, you know, again, there was that video that came out a couple of years ago where it was like, Daniel was the real bully. Johnny was the good guy. And, you know, they kind of, you know, in, in season one, it was kind of looking like that, but they went in a different direction. And then in this season, it was really about Johnny you know, trying to redeem himself, and then Kreese comes back, and he realizes what's actually going on, that Kreese is still the villain, you know, like in the original movies, well, the first and the third movie, and nothing's changed, and he's still a douchebag, and that's, you know, who the real bad guy is, not Johnny, and Johnny's trying to, you know, separate himself, and and move forward with his life and, and Cobra Kai and, and try to do different things. But, 
you know, Kreese is back to his old ways. And that's kind of the gist of the season is Kreese becoming the villain. And, you know, a lot of uh, more elements come into the show. Like you have the bad girl, Tori, that comes in. I do like her. Uh, her name is uh, Peyton List. She's a good actress. I like her in the character. And I'm not going to lie, she's really nice to look at. So there you go. And she's an adult. Relax, all you fucking weirdos out there. But, um, you know, I thought she did well. You know, she's kind of the foil for Sam who comes back. You know, uh, Mary uh, Moser, or Moser, I think that's her name, uh, comes back. And I shouldn't say this, but a lot of the kids, they're not really kids. I mean, most of them are only a couple years younger than me. Um, a lot of them are actually legit martial artists and dancers, and it definitely shows in the fight scenes. Uh, one of the other things that I really like more about season two is there's more fights. There's way more fights in this season, and the choreography is excellent. One of the stunt coordinators is a guy by the name of Hiro Koda. Now, Hiro Koda started way back in the early 90s on Power Rangers, and now is one of the biggest stunt coordinators out there in the business. He's worked on all of Cobra Kai. He's worked on a lot of really big movies and TV shows. And again, he got his start on Power Rangers, which is awesome. Uh, so it just goes to show you where things will take you in the world of the martial arts. Um, but the, the big brawl at the end of the show or the end of the season is great. The, the choreography Another thing that I really, really like about this show is the editing and the way that it's filmed is the old style. It's none of this shaky cam and the quick cutting and all the weird shit going on. They don't do that with Cobra Kai. And I did an another thing I forgot to mention. I did screw up. In the season one review, I said the guys that run the show are the guys that did the Jump Street films. They're not. They're the guys that did the Harold and Kumar films and American Reunion. I screwed that up. My bad. Um, but either way, I like I like all the Harold and Kumar films. White Castle is, of course, my favorite. And I do like American Reunion. So the show is in good hands. I just forgot that they're not the people that did the Jump Street movies. Even though I like the Jump Street movies. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I just gave the wrong information, you know, I, and I apologize about that. But, um, you know, this season, you got to see more of Daniel develop, which I like. You know, he opens up his own dojo, Miyagi-Do, and there's a lot more references to Mr. Miyagi and a little bit more backstory. And, you know, his daughter gets back into it. Uh, Robbie, you know, comes in and, and starts training again. And I like how it takes place in the summer between them, you know, previously in school and then season three picks back up when they go back to school because of the ending of this season. But, you know, there's some really good stuff in here. I really enjoyed it. It's a little bit of a, of a sad note, but there was the episode where Johnny reunites with his Cobra Kai buddies because uh, Tommy from the first movie is on his deathbed. And, you know, they reunite for one last night of fun. The bar fight is awesome. I love that bar fight. And the choreography kicks ass, pun intended. Um, it is just really well done. And again, it looks like William Zabka and Ralph Macchio have not missed the beat. Um, I'm sure they've, you know, they've been training for this show, uh, but they have not missed the beat, which is great. And a lot of people don't know, but uh, William Zabka actually trained before... Before he did Karate Kid, he actually wrestled in high school. And then after he did the first movie, he studied under Pat Johnson, who was the fight coordinator for the original movies, uh, Chuck Norris student as well. And he got to green belt, but he never finished out, unfortunately. But, um, you know, Zabka is, you know, really fluid with his movements. Same with uh, Ralph Macchio, and one of the really cool things is they do most of their fight scenes. Now, there's a lot of shots where you could tell it's a double, but a lot of, but I think all the close ups, it's them, and some of the medium shots, it's them. But hey, it's like they never miss the beat. Anyway, I went off on a tangent like usual. But that episode was a little bittersweet because Rob Garrison, the guy that played Tommy, uh, died in between the filming of season two and season three. 
Uh, the first episode of season three has a dedication to him, which is nice. But, you know, it was a little bittersweet there. Uh, but it was nice. Uh, they offered Chad McQueen to come back because, of course, he played Dutch. But he said no for whatever reason, I guess. Eh, whatever. Not going to get into all that. But it would have been nice if Chad McQueen would have came back for, you know, a little cameo. Maybe he will for one of the next seasons. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, you know, this this is some really good stuff in here. You know, season two kind of, you know, amplified everything, kind of put Cobra Kai on steroids and, you know, really pushed the boundaries and you know, having Priest come back and having his agenda and, again, becoming – where he was in the original movie as the true villain. Um, it was nice to see that again. I'm a fan of, you know, this, I'm a huge fan of these, this franchise. You know, I grew up with all the karate kid films and, you know, this is, again, I cannot stress this enough. This is very well done. This show is very well done. The writing, the acting, the editing, the fight choreography, the fan service, which I do hate to use that term because it's so overused. But this is how you do it. All these sequels and these remakes and all this stuff out there need to take note from Cobra Kai. Because this is how you do it the right way. Um, unlike most of the other stuff, you know, these sequels and remakes and everything that come out now, most of them don't do it the right way. But this is how you do it. it not, you know, this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm a horrible singer. But... You know, this is this is top notch. Um, again, season two really beefed it up. The the fights are, are more prominent in this season, which I like. There's more action. Um, season three kind of tones it down a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get to that when we get to that. But at the end of the day, I really, really enjoyed season two. I would say so far, this is excuse me, the best season, and it's my favorite season. And uh, you know, we're just gonna see what happens later this year when season four comes out, you know, I'm already looking forward to it. And again, I guess because I have been so let down in the past by all this stuff, you know, this uh, trend of the remakes and the sequels and the spinoffs that I avoided this for so long, but finally decided to check it out. Finally decided to take people's advice and take a look at this. And I'm glad that I did really, really enjoyed it. Uh, all three seasons so far. Uh, the arc, the storytelling is very good. And I know they said they have six seasons planned. I would love to see six seasons, honestly. You know, let's just, the only thing I want is Hillary Swank to come back. And maybe she will. Hopefully she will. But we'll see what happens. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of Cobra Kai Season 2. Thanks once again, Wildman Beyond, for sending in the request. Again, PayPal link is below for those that want to send something in. Um, but yeah, so until then, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you.